What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Mike Life. Today we're gonna to be doing a video on something that was sent to me by Giraffe Tools. It is a retractable extension cord, 50 foot reel, 14 by three is the gauge of the wire. Let me show you guys everything. I got everything unboxed right behind me. Show you guys an up and close what you get, then we will do an install. All right guys, so in the box you're gonna get this bracket, nice sliding bracket. I'll show you guys how to use this. You're gonna get some hardware, which we're not gonna use. User manual, this here will be attached to the cord. It's basically a electrical cord, reels can be hazardous, safety thingy. This part here, you're gonna be able to plug in three plugs in here. This is, it lights up when powered. I'll show you guys that in a second. We do have the ball to adjust how far we want this to hang out. It says draft tools here, swivel bracket. The cord that you're gonna plug into an outlet is about, I think it's four and a half feet cord. And on the other side, you're gonna have your switch. This is your fuse breaker switch. So you could turn it on and off also to reset it. Got it plugged in. We're gonna turn it on and you could see right there the little light. So this has power going to it. So I was trying to figure out a good spot to mount this. I know I have my, right there, I have my uh, air hose reel. But I'm thinking right here, that's the spot it's gonna go on. So you would grab your bracket, do some measurements. I leveled this out already. And you can see I already did my markings. I already put one of the plugs that I'm gonna use. So right there, you're gonna see I already marked it with the pencil there, 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 and there, and don't mind that. Yeah, that's battle injuries in the garage. So I'm gonna use my own mounting hardware for this. And here's the hardware I'm gonna use, all from Home Depot. I did add some washers to this for a precaution. Now, when drilling this out, make sure to have a vacuum. It's best to do it that way. I already have my bit installed I'm using my hammer drill here. So what I'm gonna do is turn on the vacuum and I'm just gonna be like this. So this way all the dust and debris goes sucked in right into the vacuum and doesn't get everywhere. And then you're gonna vacuum out the holes. And I'll grab the plugs and just hammer them in, but make sure, do it just nice and easy so it doesn't bend on you. Almost like you're molding it into place. If you see it start bending on you, just stop or try and help it like I just did there. There we go. And the last one. Hmm, let's see, maybe this way better. Yeah, there we go. All right, now I got my impact drill, got the screws. We'll get that ready, grab the bracket. And what I want to do is this bottom piece, I want that, well, this piece, I want it to be on the bottom when mounting it. So this way the weight hangs on there from the actual reel. And then when screwing this in, do not do it all the way down in. Just partially like that, just to hold it up. Cause we're also gonna put a level on it. All right, make sure we are level with this. Yeah, actually we are good. go mounted this thing ain't going nowhere and as you can see right there on the bottom there is a little hole and there's a hole on this so we're gonna end up putting a screw here to keep everything secure and this bracket system is like a sliding bracket system yeah, it just slides right into place and there's the screw I was talking about I'm gonna pop that in right now There we go. Now this is secure. You can see the swivel action. Very nice. Now I could also adjust that there. So over here, there are two, is it two screws? Yeah, two screws, both Phillips head. We'll undo it on that side and then grab the other side, do the same thing, just to loosen it up a little. And then we're just gonna pull that down. And I want it to hang, I think right about there is good. Maybe I'll give it a little drop down like that. So now I'm just gonna tighten this back up. There we 
go. Retracts, retract, go back in, and we got the little hang down going. Now, this power cord is, as you can see, 4.5 feet. It's a little long. I'm probably just going to wrap it around this here a few times like that. Let's see, can we get away with one more? Just give it a little tug like that, like that. Unplug the vacuum, plug that in. There we go. Let's turn it on. All right, light is on there and we have power. There's a little swivel action for you guys. And let's pull it out. You guys can see it work. This is perfect too. If I need to vacuum the car, instead of pulling out an extension cord, I could just pull this over here, drop it down, and plug in the vacuum over here and vacuum inside the car. Love it. And for the final test, let's plug in the vacuum. Oh, by the way, this is grounded. All right, so let's turn the vacuum on. There we go. You guys can hear the vacuum going. Everything is working great. And there you go, guys. That was the video for the Giraffe Tools retractable extension cord reel. Mike, what do you think of it? Love it. It's super easy to install. Love that bracket. If you guys go back and watch my uh, air hose reel, I had mentioned how it would have been nice if there was some sort of bracket, easier way to mount. That was simple. Having that bracket, make sure it's level, make your holes, pop your holes through. Use some good quality plugs, make sure it's secure. I like it. It's pretty nice. It's out of the way. It's just sitting there in the corner. It's perfect if I need to bring... The pain in the ass part is I have extension cords in the cabinet here. If I need to run the vacuum out there or whatever, I need to pull out an extension cord, undo it, plug it in. That's just simpler. It makes it easy. Pull it, plug in the vacuum or plug in whatever. If I'm going to use a corded polisher like I have over here, Whatever the case may be, makes it so convenient. This is like one of the must things to have in a garage, in my opinion. Price on that, I think it was like $90 or something like that, $95. I'll have links down below for you guys to check them out. Also, if you guys haven't already, check out my Instagram. It's MikeLifeX5. I'll put it right over here for you guys. I really appreciate it if you guys could leave me a comment down below, a subscribe, and let me know what you guys think of the Giraffe Tools 50 foot retractable extension cord. There you go guys, I think I'm done with this video. Thank you all for watching this episode of Michael Life.